Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Astro Narc. We are going to bring the Druid because the Druid is amazing. Uh, and we've been losing. So let's bring the Druid again because this Druid is amazing. I, uh, I could bring in the Juggernaut, you know. The Juggernaut's also, of course, amazing. A very, like, the best true tank, I would say. Like, the Paladin is great. Uh, but as you can see, it's like the, from the last run, it's not not a foolproof one, especially because shields can be pierced uh, very very easily. You know what? Let's bring in the Juggernaut, and then maybe maybe let's get a little uh, a little goofy for our last one, or maybe we just bring the Ronin. Maybe we bring the uh, maybe we go. Let's go uh, Ranger. Let's be a little different with it. I could bring in the Ronin. I could. I, I don't know why. I just the Ranger feels a little bit more. A little bit more goofy for me. I feel like damage might actually be one of our bigger issues here. So I'm going to rock the attack damage up there. Uh, who is a better tank right now? We have 40 frail defense. I mean, honestly, nothing probably matters right now. But I would say this... Uh, oh, it does matter. Holy crap. Holy crap. The attack damage buff these guys get is crazy. It's huge. Uh, okay, so... All of this healing stuff being percentage-based really makes me think that uh, something like the old Arcane Stabilizers to increase our max HP is going to be a good call. Let me just put you in as our actual... our actual tank here. We'll swap it over. And then if you die, then we can utilize the uh, good old extra defense of the Frail Defense over here. Yeah, you, you definitely don't have a ton of defense, but, you know, we get that shield, we get that extra healing. It should be good, one would think. Uh, 44, start to do the frost. We kind of need to go for raw stats on the ranger. It's kind of, I mean, need is a strong word, but he's a, a weird character because of his, uh, his passive. Yeah, certainly. Uh, due to his passive, you're kind of, you're not forced to, uh, you know, really get these things that are just true raw stats, but you lose a lot of effectiveness. Like, he does not gain your speed. He does not gain your, uh, your status effects. Oh, this, uh, okay, I mean. Oh, it's, uh, it's a toughen. It's a toughen. None of these events, it's just three events all the same. Doesn't really matter there. Uh, bip, bip, bip. All right. Good stuff, though. I, I want to beat this today. I want to beat. Uh, I want to beat this corruption level, because honestly, I know we can. <laughs> I know we can. We just maybe need to uh, hone in a little bit more. So we already have the royal arbalist effect, you know. Uh, I like the idea of the spring amulet. We're gonna obviously go to the elite battle shop, elite battle in that order, even if we are going to get a bit of a penalty. Here, wait. You only heal the uh, adjacent. That's a uh, that was a miss. Is it a misstep? Hold on. It actually might not be a misstep due to the fact that you do gain that healing anyways here. And we are gonna keep these guys alive. I would say it's probably it was probably a bad idea, but if we had him over here, then the poison would be spreading among them, and maybe it would have been switching the. Oh boy. All right, it's a little, a little goofy. All right, so increase your attack and defense by 40. I think we do want to just make sure we have a very, very tanky fellow. A very tanky fellow. If he is going to be taking, like, pretty much all of our hits here. Um, Gatling Druid? Crown of the Banshee is a, is a good call, too, but I like the idea of Gatling Druid. Well, yeah, I like the idea of Gatling Druid. Let's get that. The question is if I should, like, put another Arcane Stabilizer on him. Be very interesting. Uh, or we just, maybe we just hold on to our money for right now. If there was an attack damage item in there, I would probably grab it for our Ranger here. Okay, should be good. We don't need to don't need to adjust anything. 
it's I, I'm glad we are at the point where we like generally know what all the enemies loosely do so we don't really have to sit and read all of their stuff before we do our placements like we, largely a lot of the thing you need to know is does anybody have any adjacency attacks for positioning reasons or anything like that uh, but that boy don't that boy don't that's this is the only thing we could have built around like we could have moved the druid back uh, but even that, like, I don't even think it was necessarily a bad idea to have him where he was. Okay, so... You now we just, you know, there we go. Now we can start to, like, we don't need to upgrade his, uh, his active. I would say our active upgrade would be probably... Okay, well, first of all, let's do it. Oh, God. Oh, weird. Oh, God, oh, weird. Sure. Sure. Oh, it's strange. I want to make sure we cleanse uh, off our bleeding here. Who would you attack? You would attack the ranger. I mean, that's kind of fine. I like that better. Like, truthfully, I, I think that there's a very real chance we just lose this here due to the bleed being kind of, like, a little out of control for us. Come on, passive. Get that ability. Ah! I don't know why I tried so hard to make it happen, Captain. I'm going to pick this up because we don't. We just don't have anything in that slot, so why not, right? Okay. I love me the new bandit hood. What can I say? I'm a sucker for it. We could just have him sneaky over there without, like, any, I mean, any kind of adjacency attack is just nothing. Now it be nothing. I just like the idea of it. I mean, it's, it's my favorite new change of the new sets of changes from the last patch, uh, which I mean, there could be could likely in fact i probably i assume there's another one by now ah but the fact that yeah he's over there he can't get healed so the fact that he's not adjacent is actually a problem there but eh. saints vow yes we do that and then i say i say we upgrade your active uh the hunter will be receiving our next uh passive ones Viscous goo. Oh, we shouldn't have done this. I can't believe I've done this. Can't believe I've done it. Okay. Please heal well. Heal well, sweet boy. Oh, you do. You do indeed. Holy healing. Holy healing. I mean, he's just going to get stronger and stronger over the course of the fight. Uh, we get the three morale. I, like, obviously, here's the thing. I don't know that I'm going to use the viscous goo. I could sell it, though. We, we gained three morale and, theoretically, yeah, 34 bucks if we want it. Blee. Okay. I feel like that's just a really good, uh, a really good idea for now. I don't know. Uh, there's not a ton of Act 1 events that I think, oh, jeez, that I think are, like, that big of a deal. So you're not going to be taking any damage anyway, so we really should have you here, so we're all targeting hopefully the same guy. The fact that he's hidden is even over here is still really good for us. All right. God, these yeah, the wolves are always. Uh, I I gotta tell you, man, the wolves do too much damage. They really do too much damage. The fact that they do as much as they do and then they just summon another one 
And then if they get this active off, they summon even more. I feel like it was not tested right on this difficult, on the, uh, the corruption level 11. I feel like it was not tested properly. They just get too much of a buff. Way too much of a buff. Way too much of a buff. I guess we should have split the damage onto the druid. That would have been better, I guess. Do we want to move the ranger here? Okay, so... 8% of their HP per every 3 seconds. How long will that take? <laughs> How long will that take? Do I have a calculator on my new computer? We'll just, uh, uh, I mean... 12.5 seconds. Okay. That's a long time. That might be okay. Because it's, per it's percentage based, so it doesn't quite matter. Because I just, I want him to make sure that he is the target of the healing. You know what I'm saying? That's really the big thing. I think it was probably a bad idea. I think we could have done this, um... Why did you die first? If it's percentage healing. It actually worked out perfectly. I, I liked my idea. Da -da -da. De -de 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 -de. Okay. I don't know what to take. Who are we going to add to our party? Uh... I don't know. We could bring in the... We could, we could bring in the cleric. Uh, bring in the blood mage. We could bring in some good solid DPS. Boy. I could bring in the Wild Mage with that. That's kind of a fun idea. Yeah, that's kind of a fun idea. Uh, okay. Because, yeah, he... Okay. Yeah, I think that that's an interesting idea here. Give that to you. Healing received by all is increased by 20%. I feel like that's going to be more valuable than the other thing there. Uh, passive. How much HP do you have? 650. You know what I would really like? Prize regalia. That'd be amazing. I'm going to change all of these items because they suck for you right now. I guess we kind of want to be in the middle. In a little bit of a weird way. Let's try this out. I feel like this is not going to go well. The old Wild Mage. No, he's... He's doing work! Wild Mage is doing work! Okay, so... Ooh, no... So that's that. Uh, I feel like this is going to be better for us right now. Because more damage means more shield. It's fine. You do basically you do random garbage anyways. It ain't too big of a deal. Come on. Come on, big boy. Oh, how'd you... Ah, the random damage. Wild Mage is certainly putting in work, though. As kind of like a fun little uh, DPS. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, that's an idea. That is an idea and a half. 
Uh, Act 2 definitely has the prize regalia as, uh, as an option here. Maybe. It definitely does. I know that for sure. Switch your target to you. It's fine. It's weird, but... So, yeah, when a target dies... I, I feel like this passive just isn't that good. That's what I feel. Okay. See, like, th that's the buff right there. That's the buff. It just doesn't wow me at all. Certainly an idea. Because it, it? it goes to 20% for 10 seconds. Which is not bad. It's not bad. I just... I don't know. It does... I feel like it could be... I feel like if it was a 5 attack and 5% speed and it was permanent, it'd be like a little bit more fun, maybe. That might make it a little bit more fun. It could Less effective, but it's permanent. It's kind of in line with what that... Um, every time you cast your active, your speed goes up by 10% permanently. Kind of like that thing. It's not like that. That's uh, there's more... Or not items in the game that are more overpowered, you know? Because so it's a lot of times it takes a while for an enemy to die. You know what I'm saying? That being said, it, it really might be the play for right now. So maybe I'm, I, you know what? I, I might be actually, I might be stupid. Or maybe if it had like 5% speed on it to begin with, like maybe that'd be a little bit better. Okay. I mean, you're slowly going to be building up a shield worth your entire HP bar. Does it not go down while you're stacking it up here? Come on. Come on, Druid. Please. No, you need to negate that, my boy. You need to negate that, my boy. Oh, no. He's stealing all of our buffs. He stole our uh, Arcane Stabilizer buff, I think. God, that sucks. Oh, that's garbage. Oh, that's not good. That's so stupid. Oh, you piece of trash. You piece of trash. Okay, so... It's not bad. It's really not bad. That is really, really not bad, though. Stitch these. I don't really, I, like, I don't want to play Pyromancer today. Okay. Like, that'll actually make him a decent off tank. Like, he fully, fully intending for him to be an off tank. Like, with the Druid both being kind of semi off tanks. Okay. Good stuff. Two, two mini bosses in a row here. I mean, what are we going to do, you know? There's nothing to do. All we can do is... If all we can do is kill fast, then I guess we want you here, which is really weird. Oh, this is, this is a strange feeling. But yeah, we kind of... If that's the case, we want him here. Also, he'll eat the kill, maybe. Perfect. I mean, like, if somebody was going to die, that's, like, super optimal <laughs> timing there. Uh, can we please kill a little bit faster here? Thank you. Ooh. I think we can play with that. We can play with that indeed. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to mess with it right this second.
But yeah, him the fact that he gets to slowly ramp up his speed via the uh the whirlwind axe is really nice. Yeah, I mean you're gonna die. We should probably have you with the crew. Uh that stun is so long. But yeah, Wild Mage was the highest DPS, huh? Wild Mage! Putting in that work big time. Let's go. Uh All right, so who's passive to upgrade? I would say, yeah, probably the Ranger. Probably the Ranger. We're getting a lot of passives. I'm going to be uh, popping through all of the events here. Uh-oh. Uh, I think that might have been the, like, perfectly imperfect one to go for there. Yeah, we need the healing, though. Oh, uh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, no. This is bad. Okay. Come on. Please. I knew it. I mean, what are you going to do? You're right. What are you going to do? They all got a speed buff, too. Not only did we have to fight this fight, which is already, like, a little a little overtuned on purpose, kind of, you know? But, yikes. Large yikes. Uh, we're going event fishing. Oh, no. All right, well, it's fine. We'll go event. Uh, it's really tough, because I feel like we could have gotten away with... I think we might have been able to get away with that. I really... I would actually do. Uh, okay. Okay. Oof. Yeah, whatever happened. It's like we're we're toast here, basically. Probably shouldn't have even used that. Like, why even bother, right? Why even bother? We almost. I swear, we almost were able to ramp up in time there. Come on, Ranger. Come on, Ranger. Wow me. I just... Rangers doesn't... It just, it just doesn't feel that strong to me at the moment. Uh, You know what might be good? Is this instead. Alright. But we just needed to... We needed to do that fight so that we could basically wipe it off. Okay, we have cure all. Ready? Oh shoot. Okay. Good. We are able to cleanse the poison off of the ranger. Oh, you wild mage! Wild mage, putting in that big old work. Uh, hey, it's free. I'll that. Of course, I'll take that for free. Are you crazy? Of course, I will. All right, so. Weird, 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 weird stuff for this.
Okay, so what do we have here? We have... We have some okay defensive items. We could turn the Juggernaut into a, a really good DPS character uh, via Warlord's Burden. Warlord's Burden, Whirlwind Axe. Uh, we could... Bring in the Blood Mage. We could, I mean, we could bring in the Ronin. We could bring in the Warlock. Honestly, the Warlock is not a bad idea. Because we could always sneak him over there with, uh, with Bandit Hood. It wouldn't matter. The positioning. Uh, who else? Illusionist is a little bit of a meme, but we might it, it might be pretty decent with the with the bandit hood. Nah. Okay. Uh boy. I don't really Yeah, I, I just don't feel like playing the pyromancer right now. The Warlock is kind of what I'm thinking right now, because he also functions pretty well with the Bandit Hood being, like, the last unit uh, to get targeted. And then we can also, like, actually just give you what you desire again here. Awesome. I feel like we get countered by every row here, which, you know, it's a bad sign. You ain't gonna live, are you? That is definitely not a bad idea. However, the Warlock, I think, is probably, yeah, the better call there. Um... Okay. Come on, baby. You can live on your own. I know you can. Even with that frost weighing you down. No, you can't. There's no way in hell. All right. Everybody gets frost. Maybe it's like, maybe I just don't need to build around that. Maybe it's fine that everybody gets frost. Maybe it's fine. Maybe they should get frosted, for all I care. This is just okay. It's just fine. Oops. Alright. You're gonna get relocated. Hopefully you still... Yeah, we definitely, like, we need to split damage now for sure. The wild mage is just not doing it yet. How are you getting healed so much? Why are they getting healed so much? Confused. There was a lot of healing. There's like a lot of healing. Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can't do it. 
There's no way. This guy is... This guy just heals way too much. Look at that! What is wrong with the twisted subject? What are you thinking there? Is this unique? It is unique. Um, then I don't really care. I guess maybe I should get it for my warlock. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 freaking ay. We have literally no items at two star, so. Yeah. It should be a. I mean, like, it's a huge penalty. Like, don't get me wrong. That is a huge penalty, but I think it's worth it. <laughs> okay, 12% chance. Okay. Uh, good get. We got the potion doubler. And I'm like, I'm not gonna buy any new items at this point, am I? Right? Like, oh, jeez. Oh, this sucks. Okay. Well, actually, we can at least split a little damage this way now. I feel like I should really have the druid tank, but I just I don't like doing that. I think this is okay-ish. Kind of want to save my potions for the boss fight. I mean, it, this is like let's be honest, this is going to be terrifying. Um I that damage what is up with that? Damage. What is up with that damage? It's bonkers. I don't know that we're going to necessarily do anything with that. I don't know that we should be doing this fight. Like, really. Um... Okay. Please, Wild Mage. Can you please just tank that one guy by yourself? Thank you. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. He's done it. Probably. I'd be surprised if I didn't do it at this point. Like, right? Like, right? Oh, that was clean. We were able to actually split the damage properly. Thank the freaking heavens. Who's active? Probably you. Probably you. Let's be real. I, I'll take the speed. I'll take the speed. Uh, it's Goro. I mean, what's the guy going to do? It's kind of just like... We're just going to get bodied. He kind of just does his thing. Yeah, like, what am I supposed to... I just... I can't... I can't counter that. Like, there's no... There's nothing. The good news is Warlock gets to play around for uh, another 10 seconds still. It's pretty extreme, if you ask me. Yeah, now he's gone. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. I think it might be important for that to ramp up faster. Uh. I think maybe I need to value this more. You have a lot of actual raw attack stat. One, at least I thought. Realm Tooth. That's actually, that's pretty good. I have been neglecting it. I am aware. Okay. 
We got potion doubler. Avoid. Just avoid at this point. We have 12 morale. Ten HP is not that much. Watch, it's gonna be everything, but uh, I think we literally just avoid. But now we have so many potions that we can just use. Uh... Oh, divine though, that's worth. It's worth selling both. Shoot, it's not worth selling three though. That was a mistake. Should have done the math on that. Uh, but we have one, two. One, two, one, two. So, yeah, we can use two potions. Hold on. Two potions. Two potions. Two potions. Two potions. So, let's try and only use one potion on this fight. And let's use, like, the least valuable. Or what's the best one we could do here? Maybe fortifying brew and we can, like, split the party a bit. Is this permanent? I think that is permanent. It's hard to deny that that is really good, though. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. What the hell? I hate healing wards so much. I hate it so much. The good news is Wild Mage is popping off. Wild Mage is popping off big time. Ranger's actually doing work now. I think I just, like, yeah, I think I was, yeah, whatever. I think I was just building it wrong. We have 10, so, all right. We'll bring in a divine. Oops. Ooh. That's actually okay. I kind of think that's actually pretty good. Alright. That should keep you alive. Right? No, oh my god, the stun, though. But yeah, the, you being an off-tank until this guy dies, I think, is a good call. Come on. Come on, big boy! You gotta live, big boy! Why are these guys taking so long to die? What is happening? What is happening? A hundred and sixty four defense up. A hundred and sixty four defense up. Are you serious? God, I hate that the fact that we, we keep on getting that boss. And that's the one that gets benefit from the fact that the ads are buffed too. None of the other bosses there get that effect, right? There's the Balrog. And then there's the the Hydra. Why is it? Why do we always get that one? That one's the worst. That one is by far the worst. Oh my god! How do you kill a guy with 163 defense like that? Like have burn, have bleed. Like what? That seems a little too much. Like I'm so confused. Cause and he, and he was only gonna get more. I guess the issue is that our damage was split. Maybe if we moved the ranger, we gave the ranger the hood. 
We put the ranger up top with the wild mage. That, I mean, that's just, that... What the hell, basically? Hmm. All right, well, not much to do, but say that sucks. I hate that normal enemies gain, gaining more attack impacts the bosses as well. It feels like a feels like a really like a really huge jump up from ten. Like it just feels everything else has just felt like a gentle increase. Ten to eleven feels like a huge slap in the face. Oh my god! All right, well. Not much to do, not much to do, but say we got got, I guess. Uh, hmm. Yeah, like bleed or burn obviously would rip through, rip through that, but every three seconds, a major blessing. I mean... Yikes. Just a... Just a yikes that fight is. Holy. It, it feels like there's a couple fights that were not... Yeah, just, just not quite looked at right with this attack buff. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, but it just feels a little rough. But, oh well. That's that. That's gonna do it. People have beat Corruption 20. So the dev is gonna see this, hear this, and be like, you know, whatever. Uh, he, he just complaining, but it's more just the fact that, yeah, the jump up from 10 to 11 after everything else being such a gentle increase feels, feels, it feels big. It feels huge. Like that, that wolf fight feels way too tough. Uh, for sure. It feels like it's not designed with this in mind. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, they must have like a really high percentage scaling attack is my guess. That's, I their their cast but oh well we'll keep on uh we'll keep on trucking we'll keep on trying it felt like we had a good team there we just died though uh i guess we just didn't have enough damage is really it because we weren't able to focus anybody down like obviously the, the ranger attacks the back line his summon attacks the front line uh the wild mage was our other big source of dps and he was attacking the top warlock was not really a DPS. Warlock didn't have great items. I guess I probably should have adjusted those. I was kind of banking on him, like, being the last one alive was his gimmick. Uh, so that he could try and gain benefit out of his passive. The maximum, absolute maximum benefit out of his passive. Where are you? Uh, the 2% healing, whatever. But uh, the 10 attack and defense per, uh, per character would be buffing him up to theoretically uh, 90 attack and 60 defense, which is, or wait, yeah, uh, which is, uh, to be fair, not that big of a deal. Uh, probably shouldn't have, you know, wanted him to go that way, but should have just stacked up his, uh, his attack power, I guess, because that would help us with DPS and healing. Um, just stack the hidden and then use the attack damage up so that we had. Maybe the maybe the debuff that we got from that event was truly maybe it truly outweighed the benefit of upgrading all of our items. In the past, historically, I found that upgrading all the items is usually worth that trade-off. But hey, maybe it wasn't. Um, I'm a little discouraged. I, I got to admit, going from winning so much, like don't get me wrong, I want to I want it to be difficult and I want it there to be like there to be challenge. But my concern is that this is Corruption 11 and it goes up to 20. Uh, and the jump was just so high. So, that's that. That's going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. Let me know if you want this series to stick around. Uh, and, hey, pick up the game with the link at the top of the description if you have not yet. Because I get a little bit of a cut of a sale. Anybody who buys on that link. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.